So, uh, so tell me from start to beginning, Terrace, BC. How, like, from you were born here, right? No, no, no. So, you live in Terrace, BC? Yeah. What, uh, what, what brought you to Terrace? Uh, uh, sorry, were you born in? What are you doing? What was it? Dad, he played for the Dutch national team, and uh, my mom was hockey. Yeah, hockey. Yeah, my mom was in university, but he uh, wooed her over that way. So she came to uh, Europe, and uh, they were there for about three, three years or so, and ended up producing me. Oh, uh, were you born in Terrace? No. Okay. I was actually born in Quinell. Quinell, where's that? Uh, how many hours away is Quinell? Oh gosh, I don't think. No, well, because it's before. Oh no, it's after PG. What's PG? Prince George. 14 hours, 14 hours, Quinell. I was born 14 hours. North, away. south, west, east? I don't know. So how long were you in Amsterdam before you. You know, moved? and that's, this, is, this is the sad part about it is that uh, I was only there for like a matter of days or something like that. Oh, that was, so you were literally baby. just yeah. born. And then. Uh, so what did you find when you came to Terrace? What was your first impression of Terrace when uh, you got here? Uh, it's nice. Mountains look good. Uh, was raised uh, in Calgary and in Terrace, okay. so he graduated with my mom actually. Oh, and then they moved out to Holland together for the hockey. Oh no, no, they oh, I think they broke up or something like that. No. A couple times. Outdoor stuff, camping, and all those things. Liquor stores open all the time. She was in university, and he wrote her like tons of love letters, like every day, tons, eh? And. Uh, that, uh, you know, like every day, multiple love Oh, Tom, tons. Yeah. Just people who think that because you're new to town that uh, you need to be questioned or so why are you here? They saw you as an outsider. No, they're not all like that. There's some of them are good people. What do you think they were threatened by? My good looks. Hmm. Oh, well, my, my first memories, I guess, would have to be where you know when I, when I was my mom and my dad were together, right? Yeah. Well, obviously. Still, are you still looked as oh, upon still, as an outsider? Still, yeah. They're not quite welcome into the town. Oh no, I am welcome. Just there's those select few people. The lifers. But that's like it isn't anywhere. And I remember I had a bottle. Yeah. And I, I was at a, I had a security blanket too. I don't know what this is. Yeah, I did. When I was when I was little. I like it. Still. Like the same it. amount, less amount, more amount than when you first moved here. Uh. My grandma sewed it actually for me. Nice. Yellow. And in Terrace, the blanket was sewn? Oh yeah, my grandma was, she sewed with my grandma. My grandma spoiled uh, all of us with like Halloween so, costumes. So. What do you do uh, here in Terrace? Uh, work for... Uh, work with mentally ill people. Wait a minute, spider had, or spider Yeah, we had, a, we had big, large like, silver abdomens, you know. So you were an actual spider? Actual spider. Wow, no, that's with all good. With all the legs and everything. There's a lot, there's a lot of people who come here because there's Terrace is one of the main places they send people with mental illness. Probably it was it, you know when you're little, you, you yeah. pretend to be a spider. You actually get on your hands and knees, crawl around, and yeah. you have energy to do that kind of stuff. Yeah, totally. What, what, what do you think you're doing? Prince George is the only other place that actually in Northern BC that has a place for people with mental illness. So that's why there's people from all over Northern BC that come here.
What's your first like opinion of Terrace? What's your, let's say when you're 12 years older or mid preteen, what do you think about Terrace? How do you feel about Terrace? When I was a preteen. Yeah. I think people get used to all the people who have problems around here, and we try our best to help them. I I know back then I, I hung out with different people and it was, I, I and and women too. Like I was. I guess some people embrace it and some people don't. But I, they must embrace it somewhat because you're not going to still live here if it was that big of a problem to them. Mm -hmm. Children and things. I just think kids experiment all the time. Yeah. I think you're they, bored. I think they, they just get there. You know, whether they, whether they, whether they see it from somewhere, right? They know. Kids were curious, right? And if you know you're getting attention from a woman and you're just hormones are raging and you're, I don't, you know what I mean? One thing I don't like is rain and. Winter time, that's just bullshit, in my opinion. It should not be rain in winter. It should just snow. I'd rather I would take minus 30 weather over rain any day in winter. Banging, there's right? a lot of random banging, there's a lot of people who have tons of kids, a certain general. <laughs> right? Um, I, no, I don't want to say that. Camp. And skiing, apparently, but I haven't done it. But. Apparently we got, there's a really good hill here, so... So you lived in Terrace for almost four years and you've never gone skiing? Nope. What do you attribute that to? Think, of, think of the divorce ratio, it's, it's, it's through the roof, marriage isn't doing You're so You're in Terrace right too? Oh yeah, okay. it's, but it's, it's all over Canada. Oh yeah? Unless within certain ethnic groups, certain ethnic groups tend to do better in marriage than others, I think. Well, wow, last summer was horrible. I want a summer that at least we have some sun. Right. Muslims, because they're, they're yeah, that's true. But this, I mean, this is not this is, this is true though statistically, right? <laughs> Even First Nations, they typically are quite loyal. Polygamists too, also they. Polygamists, well, yeah, they, I, there's none of the oldest people there. I don't, I don't there's no so. polygamists here in that. Place? I don't think so. No. Sure. Terrace in seven years from now. Uh, Terrace still here in seven years. So you don't think Terrace will crumble and fall? And no, no. Big? Terrace, ter I think Terrace is going to get bigger. There's uh, definitely more things happening here. Definitely more people, even more people since the first time I came here. There's definitely more people around. <sighs> I've, it's weird. When I was 18, I, I, I knew I wanted to get into like nursing, what I do now. Yeah. I, I knew when you were 18, you had a calling. When, when I was in grade nine. And it's just busier than it was when I first moved here. And that's only been in three years. And the economy's getting better, so. I like the small town feel too. I could do the schooling here. It just seemed to make sense to me. I've never really had a big strong urge to, I need to get out of here and experience life in the ground, big world, you know, like, I don't know. I can create a good, happy environment here where I live. 
a beautiful place. It, it is a beautiful place. place. You said that yourself when you came off the plane. Yeah, it looks beautiful. People say, oh, the grass is greener, always greener on the other side. And I just say, well, what about the grass that you're standing on now? Like, you, you, you say as if the grass you're on is just incapable of getting better, thicker, fuller, or whatever. It's, it, you have to get away for that to happen. Yeah. Maybe some people do, but I think that's, to, to say that that's what has to happen, no, no. Not for everyone. Small town. Yeah.